sun. You're gonna get tired before we even get going. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Look who's back here. Look, 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 everybody. I'm back. <laughs> You're what? I'm back. For those of y'all who have been keeping up with my channel recently, Jake's been sick for the last two or three videos. He's alive, though. He made it through. He didn't test positive for COVID. We're not sure what he had, but he's alive and healthy. We got four bicycles. We spent exactly $7 at the bait shop. I'm gonna add $3 to that because I did have some jig heads of my own. We got live worms, some hooks, and I'm about to go show you guys how you can catch the most fish the easiest way possible for under $10. But are you ready? I'm ready. Shout out what? Shout out to whoever gave us these things. For oh yeah. Event. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bobbers on them. The yeah. bobbers. That was from Mailbox Mondays. Yeah, we do Mailbox Mondays. So we have a PO box and people send us cool things that they want us to show on our channel. And somebody, I have it and I'll, I will show it in this video or I'll have it in the link below. Send us awesome little bobbers that you screw on your bicycle or your truck. Where's Luke? He's all the way down there. Where? Oh. That's not Luke. Luke. Get out of the ditch, son. All right, let's go have fun. Let's go. Left, Luke, let's go. Look, there's already kids down there fishing. You guys, we're taking it back old school. This is how I grew up. This is where I grew up. We're in Jupiter Farms, Florida, on the edge of the C-18 Canal. I have pictures of my dad when he was young and when Britos Mas Grande was really young, believe it or not, they had cameras back then. I can't believe it, I don't think they're in color, but he used to catch stringers of bass in that canal you're looking at, that would blow your mind. And then the evasive fish took over and now there's not that many. But there's tarpon in this canal, bass, gar, mudfish, cichlids, bluegills, everything. And we're going to catch them. We got our old salties. She's slow. Yeah, she's very slow, but we're fast. You guys, this is about to get real interesting. We got a bucket with no handle, so I don't know how I'm gonna carry this while riding a bike. And Gabe has three fishing rods. You racing? Son. I used to love to skid on my tires when I was young, just like that. A mullet just jumped down there, Jake. Did you see that mullet? No, I didn't see that. Jake, look at that gator right there on the point. That's crazy. One thing about Florida, everywhere you go fishing, there's alligators. So you always have to be concerned about them. Right here where we're gonna start fishing, there's about an eight footer. I can hardly see them too, they're so camouflaged. And we're here. But have y'all left us any fish to catch? Blue game! What's up? Oh my god. Look at those pink shorts. No way. Come on, boys. Oh my god. We're here What's to up? fish. What's up, boys? What's up? Oh my god. What y'all fishing for? Snook. 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 Have you caught one? No, I caught like a four pound. I caught, I caught like a four pound um, bass earlier. We're gonna catch cichlids. Jake, yeah. you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's crazy. Did y'all see that gator right there? Oh yeah. We <laughs> tried to catch it. You tried to catch him? Yeah. Jake, tell these boys we show them how to catch a big gator. We just can't do it right now. It's out of season. Hey, why are you why are you just now getting here? Because I'm, I had to carry the bucket, it almost fell and tripped yeah. me out. Oh, crazy <laughs> you got some fans here? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Mm hmm. Oh, there he is. I don't That's see no deer. He's straight in front of me, Luke. You gotta walk very slowly. He's still right there on the surface. I think his back just went underwater. Oh, he's still hanging out. Slowly going under. And he's gone. Well. Wait for it. No, nah, he's underwater. Oh, there he came back up. There he is. 
He's trying to sneak up and get us. He's going the opposite way. He's kind of scared of us. Yeah. Well, you, are you guys ready to go fishing? Yeah. I bet, yeah. I bet that there is a, um, a baby alligator. All right, so one thing I rarely do is before I start fishing, show you what I'm using and how to tie the knot. Typically, I would use some kind of mono leader or a fluorocarbon leader, but with this, you don't need it. I've just got a little J hook. I know it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to do a uni knot, and this is the easiest way to do it. Just loop it around my finger, and I put my finger in that loop. See? And then I start twisting the tag in keeping my finger in the loop. Just like so. Now you see? Take the tag in, put it through the loop your finger was in, and pull it tight. Done. It's as simple as that. Then I'm gonna put a split shot on it, hook a worm on, and there is a monstrosity of a cichlid right here we're gonna to try to catch. I don't have split shots, I forgot them. We don't need them though. This is a huge cichlid and I want this worm to go dangling down in front of him, just like that. This is one of our new reels that we just got out, made by favorite, I'll have everything in the link below. We put brand new Beyond Braid. Y'all check out this new trick I just learned. This is what Crocs were made for, y'all watch. All right, you guys, a little behind the scenes of Blue Gabe getting underwater footage. Jake hooked into a fish and it swam into a rock. What about the alligator that's right here? Where? Oh, yeah, alligator chilling out there. There's, there's two. There's two. We got Luke finding clams and rocks, and he's trying his best not to throw rocks in the water. Is there any in front of the GoPro, babe? There will be in a minute. They keep coming back to their bed. Gotcha. They're not going to leave that unless you catch them. All right, Jake, come here. Kelly, can you zoom into those huge cichlids right down there? Let Kelly stand right where you're at, Jake. Oh, that is a huge cichlid. Hold on. Where They're are they? They're right to the right of the pole. To the right of the pole. That is a huge cichlid. Oh, wait. All right, so I'm always catering to my kids. I want to catch the first one. This is my brand new reel, brand new Beyond Braid 20 pound test. I want to see if I can't catch one of these monstrosities. You want to do everything slowly and put it right down in their bed. There we go. Ooh, he's taking you for a run Jeez. for your money. Dude, this is... So many people complain about these exotic fish. They eat better, they fight way better, and they look so awesome. Jake, go grab the bucket. Look at that cool fish right there. If you enjoy eating panfish, this is one that you will really like. Look how, I mean, people talk about peacock, peacock bass being cool. Look how cool he is. It's I like think, a sheep head mixed with a snake head looking fish. I think Jake and Luke are gonna get taken to the cleaner. Luke found a map. There's another big one. Oh yeah, those are huge. What'd you find? I just found my split shots in my back pocket. Go figure. All right, Jake, come here. Get him, Whoa. get him, get him, Jake. Don't let him go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. You get him, got get him. him. As soon as we turn around, <laughs> we literally were gonna change spots. Bring him over here in the grass. There you go. Good job. First fish after your little sickness. Mm -hmm. Back at it. Was that the one you were going for? Oh, I couldn't see my bait. I just had it, had it down there right for me. Nice one, Jake. That is a nice one, huh, Luke? Looks cool with the colors. Very cool. Kind of hooked himself <laughs> pretty fun. This fish oh, yeah. is so excited. Why is he excited? Because Luke, he's here, riding Luke. new free. Luke, come on. Oh, go, Luke, go. Get him. Get him, reel. Come on, shoot. Keep reeling. Pick him up and reel. Don't pull, reel. Okay. There you go. 
You don't want to mess with me, you fish. You don't get me. You would got him. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got him. Son, this is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one, but. Get him off the hook. This is bigger than, than anybody's caught. Well, okay, Mr. Show Off. Okay. These fish, though, I will tell you. Jake, come here. Come see my fish. They have crazy. He's really big. Crazy sharp teeth. Jake, come here. Look how big this fish is. He's like, he pulled really hard. Come on, fish. Go put him in that bucket, Luke. Luke, do you want to eat him? These fish are <laughs> A plus to eat. Pick him up. Come on, quick. Grab him both oh, hands. There he goes. Go put him in the bucket. Now, let me explain what's in this bucket. That's three fish that I spent less than $10, and that would be more than us four could eat for dinner. And we are going to eat some. Stop it. Frankly. We're just getting started. You don't have a lot of people watch our videos and they're like, oh, you guys do things that we can't do. This is how we grew up, and we still like doing it. If Kelly and I aren't filming and we go past something like this and we have fishing equipment, we're literally going to stop and do it. We're just like these boys behind us. We fish every chance we got. I just wanted to make this video to show you, you don't need all kinds of fancy stuff. Just a couple fishing poles, some earthworms, split shots, a bucket, a bicycle, and some fun. But we're not done yet. See that bird over there, Kelly, right past them walking? No. Right past the boy in the pink shorts, just walked over the hill. I don't see it. I want to show you in a minute. It's a bird called a limpkin and it came back from almost extinction from eating that. Where'd that big snail go, Luke, you had? It's in the bucket. Oh yeah, from right here. That, this is an exotic snail that was introduced through the tank market, I guess, you know, the trade market for the fish tanks. Mm -hmm. This exploded, which then brought that limpkin back out of extinction or, you know, near extinction. Is it still over there? Yeah, go walk to that telephone pole. Uh -huh. and he's just down the edge of the bank. Wow, look at them long legs. Let's see if we can get closer. Oh, he's on he's on the move. That looks like a duck. A duck. Reel a little bit, Jake, just a little. Just a little reel. Come tight. Ooh, that is him! That is him! Alright, take your time. Take Jake, your time. Jake, down the rocks. Take your time. Oh my gosh. Get oh. down the rocks, Jake. Go. He's going to school you. That's the biggest cichlid I think I've ever seen oh, oh. right there. Be careful. Be careful. You're alright. Just Let take your time. Them. No, take your time. Come on. Keep walking down. Dude, are you sure that Go. you need Keep going. That's a gator going back off. Come on. One of, you, he is schooling this rod. Go down there towards the bank. I got you. The gator won't get you with me here. Oh my God. Yeah, that gator is not big enough to eat my Go, head. keep going. Walk down there. He's right there. The fish. Dude, these are the strongest fish. Keep going. Go to the sand. All the way. Go. Go. Hold on. Hold on. Got him. Look at this monstrosity. Wash him off. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. I'm telling you. Well, Huge. That's, the that's about the size of a big tilapia. That's the same one that I caught. Oh, okay, mouth. Little Lukey, you guys. You'll never meet a more strong-hearted, strong-minded boy than that one right there. I can pick up a 50-pound weight. I can't. Yeah. Where did that even come from? Because you said strong. Let's not lip them, whatever you do. <laughs> Look at that. That thing's like two and a half, three pounds. Babe, what the Dude, heck? I just had a fish on and the gator ate it. There's a Mayan? Yeah, I was catching a Mayan. Oh, great. Yeah, get him, get him. You're gonna run for your money now. Luckily, it's a teeny little hook. I got a break. Look, he's got the fish hanging out of his mouth. See it? Oh, he'll let it go. Come on, dude. I want it more than you. See it just hanging out of his... Oh! 
Yep. Dude, that gator's been aggressive the whole entire time we were fishing. These kids, the boys fishing over here said they've been having the same problem with them. Look at him. Oh. He stole your catch. Yeah, he just stole my cichlid and swallowed it. What the heck, Luke? Hey, that's Florida fishing for you right there. Y'all don't have to deal with that in Pennsylvania. No, don't come here, get. Dude, tell me that wouldn't mess your day up. Now get ready, because he's going to eat it quick. Oh, he ate it. Here we go. I don't think this is the big one. Don't get down there. Careful. Just swing him up here. That rod can take him. Swing him. That's a sickler. That's not the one we wanted. Pull him up. We want that spotted tilapia. He sucked that bad boy in. Unhook that one. Kelly, let me see. Take some of that off, Kel. I want you to catch that. See it? No, put it on her. That's enough. See that spotted tilapia sticking his head out right there? On the big flat rock. He just turned around? Yeah. Put it right on that big rock and he'll hammer it. That one? Yeah, go. That's a new one I haven't showed on this channel yet. Yeah, buddy. He's a pretty, these are so cool. I didn't know these were tilapia at first when I yeah. first saw them. But they're completely different than this tilapia that we're used to eating. Can you just, like, that pitch job with that, he just sucked it right in. Look at them. Wait, let me, he's got little teeth. <laughs> you get him, Jake? Not yet. Either. That was a two for, a two for one or two for one. Please don't, don't, don't kick. Luke, you're up. Get up here. Right there. Perfect. Don't move. Go. Set the hook. Oh, oh. Reel him up here. Oh no, 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 no. Get him. Oh, oh no. gosh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ow, my butt. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's what happens when you have two older brothers. Yep. Uh, that's for being a pain in the butt. Walk it off. Remember that rock you threw in the water? You're about to get a hook in your foot. Yeah. Luke did that good. He set that bait there on his own. That was a big, giant, breeding bluegill male. Luke, tell us about your butt, though. It got hurt. I slipped on that. Oh, yeah, it's didn't pretty slippery. It didn't feel good, did it? Feel how um, slippery this is. Come yeah. on, Luke, let's go catch a big fish real quick. Feels Here, you got him. Hold your rod. Whoa. Son, you don't have to kingfish flip him out. <laughs> For real. <laughs> That's the world's fastest caught bluegill. <laughs> Well, that was my thing. Okay, I did that. Look, you're supposed to finesse them, fight it a little bit. That thing went for a ride. Show the camera that look. You oh, there was in. one that just... Look at the flying oh. fish. Oh, flying fish. I want to get one of those. Is that that mullet? Mm-hmm. Dad, can I please get a bullet? <laughs> oh, he I meant mullet. A bullet? It's a mullet, Luke. Check out this fish though we just caught. Look at the camo on him. He's an extreme predator too. It's called a fat sleeper. Look at him, Luke and Jake. That's the thing I thought was the best that I tried to catch. These are the juveniles of what we have in the creek behind our house that you're always catching. Yeah. This is what they look like all grown up. Looks like gar. Hear that tree duck? Look at him. Those ducks are from South America and they have taken up and in Florida and in Texas. I saw them while we were out in Texas. All right, you guys, we're gonna head back to the house. Don't go anywhere though, because we got some awesome bonage footage from Kentucky. I've got this crazy fairy that I didn't even know existed. Footage of that, and I got some cool rattlesnake footage. I played a big prank on catfish. We'll see y'all back in my kitchen. K kitchen. We'll see y'all back in my kitchen where I'm gonna cook these awesome exotic fish for dinner. Not him though, we're turning him loose. Y'all remember watching me put the GoPro right there in the water? Yeah, that was the gator. Look at those awesome fish though. Zoom in now that we have good light. This is a spotted tilapia. It's not the tilapia that you see in the grocery store. And this is a Mayan cichlid. 
They are everywhere down here in South Florida. You've seen them in my videos before and they are some of the most fun fish to catch. Now this one can be very, very hard. He's a lot slower and he stays right to his confined area and you don't see him getting as aggressive as the Mayan cichlids do. Taking my seven inch, y'all haven't seen me use this knife in a while. This is my Pro Series from Danko and they just got a huge shipment back in. They've been sold out for a while. You can use my promo code Blue gave to save 10% and that, that knife is less than 20 bucks for those of y'all that are new to the channel. But Danko doesn't just have knives, they have pliers, they have got all kinds of crazy stuff. Go to DankoPliers.com, shop, use my promo code and you'll save a bunch of money. Let's clean this fish. Come right behind their head, turn your knife. They've got big strong scales. Get it started, right out the other side. Point your knife down to their backbone. You'll hear that. That's what you're wanting to hear. Look at the flays. Dang. Yeah, I'm talking. There's so many good eating fish out there that people don't eat and it blows my mind. Like here in South Florida, like true South Floridians, they want to go shell cracker fishing or bluegill fishing. To me, these fish taste better than both. Jake, do you get a shower? Do you use soap? Yep. You want to say anything to your fans that have been missing you? I'm excited to eat this fish, haven't it? When's the last time you had fish, Jake? A while. It's what about, while. are you excited to go frog again Friday night? I'm really excited for that. But what about next week? Oh yeah, tell everybody what we're doing next week. We're going to Nebraska and we're going to go turkey on. I'm excited for that. I don't know why when Jake's filming, when you're filming Jake, this country slang comes out in his voice. It, it's not like that normally, but boy, he goes sure country when we're filming. And you just flip it over just like any other fish. Look at that flay though. Look how pretty that is. It's bigger than a bluegill. In my opinion, tastes better than a bluegill. Now, it's not better than a crappie. And I want to talk about Kentucky for a second because we just got back from a really good friend Richards and Timmy, who we call Catfish. They have a really cool place up near Bowling Green. And Kelly and I just went turkey hunting up there. She actually filmed a really cool blog style video, what we call vlogging on the way up. And she filmed a turkey video and a fishing video. Are you doing a fishing video and a turkey video? Your battery's about to die. Oh no, let's change batteries. We got a new battery. So Kelly is actually making, oh, I just paid $150 to have my house cleaned. So Kelly's actually filmed a fishing video, which we did a, a crappie fishing tournament where we did new school versus old school. Catfish was on Kelly's team and he has this like down view, side view, live scope. You can see the fish on the screen. It's like playing a Nintendo game. And then you had me and Richard, the old school. Y'all will have to see that video on her channel. For me, I didn't film much but this really, really cool ferry. So when you come past Richard's farm going to his next farm across the river, there's no bridge because the county doesn't have enough money. So they have a ferry there. It's got this huge cable that goes down and this big wheel that's gear driven like a bicycle chain. It like, it propels itself along this cable and goes two and four, back and forth. And you can load two trucks up on there and that was so dope. That was like literally one of the highlights of my trip was that ferry. And then catfish. We have a rattlesnake. I put it in his floorboard. He doesn't know it's there. Y'all watch this. Timmy, watch out! Absolutely. <laughs> 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 what happened, Timmy? <laughs> You only know. <laughs> Good Lord. Babe, we got him. We got him. We good. got him. We have been plotting that since oh, four, God. yeah, about 2 a.m. this morning. Oh my God. Show the camera what just got you. There it is, yeah. <laughs> every time. Absolutely, every time. So, one thing I want to do anytime I'm cooking pan fish, this is what we call the belly, and this is what we call the shoulder. And that little bit of bloodline, I take them apart because obviously that's much thicker and bigger than this. And I don't want to cook them together because 
the bellies will cook before the shoulders will. So I always disconnect them real quick. And you get that little bit of bloodline because believe it or not, that little piece will make your whole fish, your whole piece of fish taste real fishy. Not all the time, with, but with most species it will, especially freshwater. I want every bite to be pleasant, so I don't take the chance. I just disconnect them, just like that. Now, the videos that you've seen that I did in Texas, you saw the Q-All seasoning. He's experimenting with a seafood seasoning that he asked me to use. It's online, but it's not in stores. You can buy this all across Texas, but this is only online, and it's their seafood blend. Let's see if he put me a shaker on there. Absolutely did not. <laughs> Way to go, Eric. I don't think we've had this one yet. No, we haven't tried this one. Hopefully it's not spicy because the kids don't like spicy. <laughs> I feel like it looks spicy. Yeah. Probably cayenne and some paprika. Oh yeah. Flip it over and I'm gonna just do salt on the other side. I've never even tasted this seasoning. Never even put it in my mouth, tried it, not even on anything. So, let's we'll see. Too salt. Too salt, just like that. And here, all I have is regular, just regular flour. Dump it in. And start shaking. You want your grease at 350 degrees. That's probably the most important part of frying fish. All right, so I want to challenge all those kids that were there at the lock and all of you other kids that are out there watching. Go to a lake or to a bridge or wherever you can ride your bike, get dropped off, catch a bucket of fish and come back, clean them and cook them for your parents, grandparents, aunt or uncle, anybody that you can cook for. Find me on Instagram, Blue Gate, just like YouTube. Send me a picture of it and I'm going to send you something pretty cool. But you got to do all of it by yourself. The whole catch, clean, and cook by yourself. It's a lot easier than you would think, but I want to see you do the work. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us have a good day fishing, and thank you for this wonderful food, and please be with everyone's real cross, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Son, what about that though? It looks good. Y'all better blow on it because it's hot. I'm How is it, Luke? Good. Was it's it worth going down there on that long bicycle ride? I usually, it wasn't that long, really. I usually like crunchy stuff. Well, give your dad some slack, okay, Mr. Critic? Hey, that's not my name good. I'm trying to think if I've ever had cichlid. I feel like I've had, but I don't know. Have you ever had spotted tilapia though? No, I don't know which one's spotted tilapia though. I don't either. After I, cl Ooh. After I cleaned it. I just ate the spotted tilapia. Was it good? Yeah. But Jake, you know we have to give all this stuff away. We've got the favorite reel and stickers. We got my knife signed by me, the fish gig, sunglasses, and a hat. Luke, you got anything you want to say to your fans? Um, I like meat. <laughs> You're a meat eater? You don't want to be a vegetarian? I'm not a vegetarian. Luke, what do you have on your shirt right here? Gotcha! <laughs> yeah. Jake, are you a vegetarian? No. no. Negative? <laughs> Negative, Ghost Rider. That's right. <laughs> I was pescatarian for a little bit. What does that mean? Um, like fish and vegetables. So I just didn't really eat red meat that much. But what about that grazed taxidermist right there? Oops, Have you ever caught a black grouper that big? No. Have you ever fished with blind date charters? No. That's probably why you've never <laughs> caught one that big then. Well dang, let's go. Alright, well, I picked a winner out of thousands and thousands of comments. I would just stop like that and pick one. And there they are. I will have all these names right now across the screen. 
The only way you can redeem your prize is if you find somebody that has Instagram and message me. If you don't have it yourself, somebody in your family, one of your neighbors, somebody has Instagram, go to Blue Gabe, send me a message, show me proof that that's your name, and I'm going to send you the prize that I have listed under each one of the names. But you have to do it on Instagram. Somebody you know has it, I promise. Just ask around if it's a niece, a nephew, a neighbor, you'll find it. The boys are sleeping, Kelly's back editing. We're getting ready to go to Nebraska turkey hunting, but I'm gonna do three more videos this week. We're going offshore fishing, and we're going fish gigging, and frog gigging. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Make sure you check for your name, and we're getting the heck out of shape. See y'all.